Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out this very large mousetrap that I purchased on a beekeeper's website. Apparently mice can cause damage to beehives and they need to be controlled, and this may be a good option. This trap can catch a lot of mice. Basically, it's a large cage with two entryways that have paddles for doors. These are counterbalanced, but when the mouse walks up there, it will go down, they enter, and then it resets, and the mouse is caught inside the cage. And you can catch them coming from either side. Once the mouse is caught, it will try to escape. It can climb up to a second cage. Right here is another one-way door. The mouse will enter and be trapped. That way you can keep catching mice and eventually they'll end up in the top cage. Then you can remove them through a door right here. Here's the lock. Okay, mouse, we have another trap for you to check out. Go on in. Well, it looks like this trap works well. That is a very gentle door. They're not gonna get their tails smashed. Let's take out our pet mouse and we'll go to the barn and set up the motion cameras to see how many wild mice we can catch. Well, as you can see, last night we caught a great big rat with our trap. It wanted the bait, went on those paddles, it dropped down, and they went inside. So this trap is perfect for catching rats, squirrels, and chipmunks. We also caught mice, they went in there, but they didn't stay in there long. The spacing on the bars are too wide and a mouse can squeeze out. It's amazing how small of a space a mouse can squeeze through. Keep that in mind when you're trying to mouse-proof your house. It doesn't take much, just the space under a door or between siding, and they're in. Now what we caught is a native species. This is called a dusky-footed wood rat, also known as a pack rat. They're semi-arboreal, they build large nests, they're kind of like squirrels and they'll climb trees. They can be a real nuisance in the barn, but out in the wild, they're not doing any harm. So we're gonna take this rat out in the wild and set it free. We'll just open up the door. On my channel, I test out every mouse and rat trap I can get my hands on. Some of them work well. I would recommend this one for rats, but not for mice. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 800 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.